Hey, stick around the end. You see how much this makes my life a lot easier using this tractor. Anyone has this tractor, you know that this, the contacts on here will wear out. Actually flip these over to auxiliary. Now we gotta change it out. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this changed out. Right, you can see we got all the screws out. Other than the cobwebs, it actually looks pretty good because it's been a while since I've been in here. But this is where we're gonna change out. We relocate that switch that turns it on and off to up here on to the steering column. And so what we gotta do is reroute those wires and we gotta get them up here to this front section. So let me show you that and we'll look at how to take it apart. So this is where we wanna have the switch is up here. So this way we can turn it off and on easier. So we gotta look at getting the wire up through here. All right, so after taking the steering wheel off, this piece comes off, so lay that to the side. This washer, spring, and other washer comes off. Lay that to the side. Now this is open. I can take the cover off. And now we can see what we got. That must be out of just the steering It's hard to see it, but there's two pins on each side here. They correspond to the two pins on here. So on this, goes down over top of here. They line up and it kind of locks it in place. So what we're gonna do, is I can see, there's room around the edges of this. So we're gonna make a little hole, probably right in here and run our wire through. But let me show you where I'm routing the wire out underneath here. You can see all the way up underneath here. But what I'm trying to do is keep this on the outside of this because this shaft does spin. So what we'll do is we'll actually fasten this wire down under here and we'll take it down around underneath. And we're gonna fasten that wire underneath there with the perfect thing, wire ties or zip ties, whatever you wanna call them. All right. Now we just gotta run this back down through and get you in there to see. But there's a wire loom back here. So we're gonna use this same area to come through. Let's see if we can get a better angle. All right, you can kind of see now this wire loom. This is where we're gonna run our wires on right next to this one. I forgot to take you along. We took some of these screws out here. We're gonna try and get this cover loose so we can get up under, under the wire behind here. Yeah, you can see we got the cover loose so we can get in here. And you can see how uh, dusty and dirty it is in here. So this is a good place to pause and I'm gonna actually get the blower and kind of clean some of that out. All right, you can see how much cleaner it got in here just by using a quick you know, leaf blower. So now we're gonna finish running this wire up and bringing it up to where our new switch is gonna to connect to it. And that switch is gonna come out. Not gonna use the green, so we're just gonna go ahead and tie that off. Yeah, I didn't realize the other camera died, but I got the switch out 
This is the one that used to have the key that went into right here. So you can see what we took out was this. Because this is no longer gonna be here, the one off, we're gonna move over there. And this is gonna be a switch to change the readings on this. All right, now I'm adjusting this bottom bolt because this hole being bigger, I actually got some larger washers so that way I can put this come up through. So now we just gotta get this lined up so that way I don't have too much sticking up out. And that's where we're just kinda eyeballing for right this second and seeing where we're gonna be at. And this is just a momentary switch, so it's not gonna turn anything on, it's just temporary. So it can change settings. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get this switch. We got the piece over here, so we're gonna go ahead and get this marked, cut out, and get a hole drilled through, so that way I can put the, mount the switch, and then we'll go back over to the tractor. So let me get that done, and I'll be right back. And just to explain how easy it is, basically you're gonna drill bit, the same diameter of your post, gonna make that hole, and then push this through. So let me make the hole bigger and I'll show you. Okay, so we got our hole. Now we have our switch and literally you're just gonna bring it through and push it out the hole. And then you're gonna put your lock nut and everything on top of it. All right, now this one also came with this little metal label. So that way I can have, you know, off on the one already labeled. So now what we're gonna do is just put the little rubber booty thing over it. It keeps this water resistant. There, that piece is all done. Ready to go back over and put it on. So you can see I got easily mounted switch. It's gonna be right on the side of the steering wheel. Got it hooked up. Now we can cheat here. We'll flip the switch. Yep, we're good. You can hear the relay click. That's what we're looking for. All right, now I just got to put everything back together for that. But before I do that, I got to get my momentary switch hooked up for the meter so that way I can go through hours, voltage, and stuff on that. But we can go ahead and put the other stuff back together. We're gonna start up here in the front, get this plastic shield bolt back on, put this on. Okay, you can see we're back to it today. Uh, did have to go and do some more moving. You can see I got the plants inside now because we had a frost warning last night. So I had a pause in what I was doing. So let me get back to it here. So now what we're gonna do is take the meter here and we're gonna actually hook up my momentary switch so that way I can cycle through the settings on this. Let me show you how we do it take the meter here and we're gonna actually hook up my momentary switch so that way I can cycle through the settings on this. And that's gonna go on here and then come around to this. So I don't need it that long. So we're gonna nip that off. And we're gonna use this little cheater. So with these, what you do is one side you can see is open, one side passes all the way through. So on the one, you push it all the way in, it'll hit the end. And the other, you whoop it over your wire. Yeah, make sure we're all the way to the other end. And now we just gotta close this. This little metal tab will pierce both of them. That's pierced. Close that off. So there's one connection. Now I just gotta go from this one to that one. All right, you might have just seen, but I'm having issues with this momentary switch. It's actually brand new, but let me show you what we're doing. All right, you can see I got the meter on resistance here. Now if I touch these two together, that's what the switch should do, is basically go back to zero. So if I clip this on the other lead, 
So now both leads are on there. You can see it says overload. And if I push this button, it should go down. But it's not going back to zero. So it's telling me this switch is bad from the get-go. So this is gonna have to get returned and I'm gonna have to get another switch. Yeah, this is where I was having problems putting it on. Basically, take this back bolt here out, lift this piece up, and then this will go in much easier. Well, now you can see I got it all back together here, other than I do have this cover still loose, because I still got the wires here, so I can do the momentary switch on it. But I have to wait and get another one in, because that one was bad, as you saw earlier. So stick around, and we'll show you the finishing touches on this. All right, since we had that issue with that, I actually ordered these switches in, so it's a very small little momentary push switch. So we're gonna get that installed here. And you can see, I already have the wires sitting here. Everything is just sitting here loose. So we're gonna go ahead and get this wired up and then I'll come back. All right, we got the switch all wired up, so we're gonna test her out now. Okay, 172, yep. Perfect. That's what we were looking for. Ah, so we're gonna turn it back off. Now we're gonna get this button back up. And with these bolts too, make sure you start them all just by finger tight before you use an impact. So everything's done. We just gotta get everything cleaned up here. And we're all finished. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up and a like. It greatly helps me out.